And you're going through, going to go through an experience, going through an exercise called SOIF. Yeah, S-O-I-F. Yeah. Did you learn a lot of things today? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So to ensure that you do something about it and do it with faith, we're going to go through this activity called SOIF. Just saying that you learn a lot of things, but after the program, you don't do anything, and no good. Dia macam ada kereta tapi tak ada minyak. No good. Okay? Yeah. So, soif tak ada dalam nota. Just take a uh, empty spot anywhere, you know, and uh, because there's going to be a lot of writing involved from you. Yeah? Ada soif tu? Oh, cool. Okay, good. 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 Alright, ready? Now, soif was created by this group, people called Professional Learning Facilitators. These are people who learn from me how I present knowledge. We call ourselves Professional Learning Facilitators. Haji Rahim kat belakang is a, one of the latest Professional Learning Facilitators. Around. And there's about 1,800 of us around the world. Okay. So one day we came together and we decided that, you know, things like, siapa pernah dengar SWOT, S-W-O-T? Pernah dengar yang tu? Yeah. We find SWOT negative. <laughs> so we came out with our own thing called SOIF. Yeah, so what you're going to go through is something which we totally discussed and we came up with. Yeah, SOIF. Now, SOIF starts with an intention. Niat. You said you learn a lot of things. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I want you to write down one sentence from all the learning that you had. What change do you want to make to your, for you? What changes do you want to make for you? It may be a personal change, it may be a change relating to studies, it may be a change relating to family, communication, whatever lah. Okay? Write down one thing that you're going to change, one thing that you want to improve after this one day program with me. Now that one sentence will be your intention. Okay? Please write down one sentence now. Five, four, three, Two, one. All right. So you have now just written one sentence. Yes or no? Yes. And that one sentence will be your intention throughout this soif process. Maksudnya, whenever I say go back to your intention, go back what do you what you intended tadi, you go back to that one sentence. Boleh? Uh, just just to make sure that you, what you wrote is in line with what you're thinking look at that one sentence number one did you write what you want or what you don't want so make sure that one eh? number two look at that sentence again how do you feel uh, yeah, you see some people are the response some people how do i feel okay. remember emotion drives behavior you don't feel anything, no way you're going to do it. Okay? Alright. Let's start. SOIF. S-O-I-F. S stands for strength. Now we have, we have two kinds of strength. Strengths which you can see. Strengths which you cannot see. All of us have it. Strengths which you can see. Physical, Physical strength. Yeah, there you go. The strengths we can see. Thank you. Uh, lagi, strengths you can see. Sorry? Pewatakan, strengths you can see? More or less. Uh, family? Is that strengths you can see or cannot see? Can see. Handphone? Can see. Um, friends? Can see. Uh, strengths which you cannot see? Emotional strengths, contohnya? Is that a strength? Sad? Sad? Yeah, it's a strength. Yeah, some people can cry. That's a strength. Yeah. What else? Relationships, yeah. Just strengths which you can see. Strengths you cannot see. Patience, yeah, yeah. Um, knowledge, is that strength you can or cannot see? Yeah. Cannot, you can see your degree, you cannot see knowledge. Eh? Yeah. So everybody has strengths you can see and cannot see. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. When you hear the question, I want you to list out your answers as many as you can. Okay, the question starts like this. What strengths do you have now to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. What strengths do you have now to be able to achieve the intentions which you wrote just now? 
list out as many as you can. Begin. You have just written the strengths that you have now to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Yes. How many did you write? Four, five, six, nine, six. How many of you reached 10? Cool, good, good, good. How many of you wrote more than three? Yeah, cool. So you do have the strengths to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Yes. And you listed it out. Here's my question. From the many strengths that you wrote, ada tak Allah situ? Ada orang lupa. Ada, ada orang lupa. Kadang-kadang kita lupa Allah merupakan rujukan kekuatan kita yang utama. Yes or no? So for those of you who forgot, please put Allah there. And put Allah number one, yeah, not number four. Yeah. <laughs> So again, you do have the strength to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Yes. Hello, yes or no? Yes. Yes, good. S O. Opportunities. Now to understand opportunities ni, it's like this, yeah. Let's say this is a goal post. I'm about to kick the ball into the goal. What opportunities can I see when the ball goes into the goal? Bola belum masuk goal lagi. Bola kat kaki lagi. Apakah peluang atau ganjaran yang saya nampak bila bola tu masuk goal? Goal lagi? Mata dapat markah lagi? Menang. Sama? Dapat hadiah, dapat piala, dapat tanah. <laughs> yeah. So the opportunities is way more than the ball which goes into the goal. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. When you hear the question, I want you to list out your answers as many as you can. What opportunities can you see when you achieve the intention which you wrote just now? What opportunities can you see when you achieve the intentions which you wrote just now? List out as many as you can. You have just listed out the opportunities that you can see when you achieve the intention which you wrote just now, yes or no? Yes. How many did you list up? How many of you wrote more than five? Wow, how many of you reached ten and above? Yeah, good, cool. So, the opportunities waiting for you is far more than your intention which you had one, two, satu, two, je. Am I right? So, let all these opportunities give you motivation to achieve your intention. S O I. I stands for improvements. I'm going to ask you the question right away. Listen carefully. What improvements do you want to do to yourself to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now? What improvements do you want to do to yourself to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now? List out at least five. Begin now. You have just listed out the improvements that you want to do to yourself to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? How many of you reached five and above? All right, good. Cool. Pick one that you want to do immediately. And make that one specific. For example, one thing that I want to improve is to learn some more. Okay, learn what? When you want to learn? Where you want to learn? When you're going to register? So, from the many improvements that you wrote, pick one that you want to do immediately and then make it more specific. Make that sentence more specific. Begin now. You have now one specific improvement that you want to do to yourself to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Yes. Very good. We're in the last part. S-O-I-F. Now before I tell you what F is, what's the opposite? What's the opposite of fear? Brave courage? No. The opposite of fear is faith. When you have faith, you have no fear. Bila adanya yakin baru datangnya berani. Okay. Now, you do have the strength to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Hello, yes or no? 
you know the opportunity is waiting for you when you achieve the intention which you wrote. Yes or no? Yes. And you know what improvements to make. Yes or no? Yes. And you have that one specific improvement that you want to do to be able to achieve the intention which you wrote just now. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So now you're going to seal it with faith. Read that one specific improvement that you want to do. To read it to yourself. Tell me how you feel. That one specific improvement that you wrote is now. How do you feel about it? Inspired. Inspired thank you. Right? Courage. Courageous. Brandy. <coughs> now what? Is that what you mean? Yeah, cool. Excited. Excited. Puh, tak nampak muka excited. <laughs> how do you feel? That one specific improvement. Determined. Determined? Cool. Now, as you read it to yourself, if that's what you feel, imagine when you tell people about it. You should even amplify it more. Okay? So, sebentar lagi, this is what you're going to do. To seal it with faith. Ni. That one specific improvement, you tell one person. This is what I'm going to do. Tell him excitedly. Okay? Dah habis cakap dengan dia, cakap dengan orang lain. Dah habis cakap dengan dia, cakap dengan orang lain. Okay? And you do not stop until I tell you to stop. Okay? Now, for those of you who are in the middle here, it's like you're here, again, you're in the middle, you talk to one person, you talk to one person, and then <laughs> you're just there. But you're still talking to many people, as many as possible. Okay? Now, I want you to do this activity standing up. That one specific improvement, itu saja, that one specific improvement that you wrote just now, tell people about it. Beria, ya. Now, orang yang mendengar, kalau tak beria, ya, tempang. <laughs> sungguh, sungguh. Stand. Stand. Only that one specific improvement. Itu je. After one percent, another percent. After one percent, another percent. Ready? Have your seats. So, how do you feel now? <laughs> Kawan kita dia kata, harap boleh buat. Buat, tak buat, siapa? Kita. Kita tu siapa? Ni, saya kan? So, tak ada harap-harap. Buat je. <laughs> okay. Apa bangga orangnya lagi? That's what Soif does. Soif seals the deal with faith. Ya? Yeah? Many people have action plans, but they don't do it because they always fear something. You take away the fear, you put a lot of faith, jalan. 